Hello everyone, my name is Zai Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to set up and install a Beam MP server. It's actually pretty straightforward these days and this is an updated guide for 2025. So all you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below which will bring you guys right here to the Beam MP download page. All you got to do, obviously make sure you have Beam MP installed for your actual Beam NG game on your game itself. And we're going to need to set up the server to play on. So to do that, all you need to do is click download server and it will download you a Beam MP EXE. Now we don't open this straight away since we need to put this in a folder before we run it. Pretty weird, I know. So open the folder location by clicking the folder icon next to it. Minimize to your desktop. Now I'm setting this up on a HT network VPS, meaning that I don't have to do any port forwarding steps to make sure that we can join the Beam MP server, which you would have to do if you're running it on your own PC if you want friends to join. And it also means that we're not putting our own IP on display. It uses a VPS IP, not your own IP, which keeps you safe from DDoS attacks and also being tracked. It also means you can keep the server running 24 seven without having to have your own PC on. If you want one, you can get one down in the description below. All you're gonna to wanna to do, right click on your desktop, new folder, and you can call it whatever you want. It really doesn't make much of a difference. So I'm gonna call it Beam MP server. Open this folder on up and you're simply going to grab this exe and drag and drop it into that folder. Now we can run the exe, so double click it. It's going to boot up and then it's going to close in 10 seconds and it's going to tell you it can't run the server because it can't find an auth key. That's because we need to add an auth key, which is where it gets a little bit confusing for some people. So open the server config on up with any notepad opener. I use Visual Studio Code because it makes it easier to read things like this, which is essentially like your settings file for your server. And right here, you will see where it says auth key has to be filled out in order for the server to run. And then the quotes are empty. So we need to grab ourselves an auth key. If you don't know where to get that, no problem, because right at the top here, it actually tells us. So we're gonna control and left click to take us to this link. And for some reason, BeamMP makes you log in with Discord. There's literally no other way around it. Super annoying, but you're gonna need to sign into your Discord to do this. It's gonna ask you to authorize it. Just click yes, and it should then take you to the Beam MP Keymaster webpage. This webpage pretty much sucks. What you need to do is come on down to keys, and you need to make yourself a key. You guys can see I already have two, and once you make a key, you can't delete them, and the maximum amount of keys you can have is two. So I actually cannot make a new key to show you how to do it, but all you need to do is hit this plus right here to create a new key and simply enter a server name. Super simple and easy. And once you've done that, you can copy a key. Just click the little clipboard icon next to the key, minimize back to your desktop, back to this server config.toml. And in between the quotes where it says auth key, we're gonna paste in that auth key. Super simple. And a couple of things I'd recommend changing is possibly this name here. If you wanna change it to something more recognizable, I'm gonna do something that we would definitely know as my server. There you go. You can change it to whatever you want. It really doesn't make a difference, but it will be what you have to search for on the Beam MP page. And then obviously in here, we can change some maps and things like that. And the description of the server is really up to you. I'll go through in a later video how to change the map and car add cars and things like that. So make sure you guys do stay subscribed and turn on the notification bell so you guys are staying tuned for that one. But once we've done that, we've inputted the auth key and we've also changed the name. We'll go to file and save and close that on down. And now we should be good to start our server on up again. You will see it's no longer telling us it's failed and it's actually successfully started the server. And you'll see it will start making a couple of folders and files for us as well. A resources folder, which is essentially where we add our mods in, which we'll cover in a later video. But now we actually are good to go with our BeamMP server. Now we should actually be good to just join the BeamMP server for ourselves. All we need to do is connect via localhost, but if you want this to play with your friends, which is of course what everyone's gonna want it for because that's the whole reason, otherwise you just play BeamMP on its own, you're gonna need to do a couple of steps. Now, if you don't have a VPS, you're gonna need to do some settings via your Wi-Fi router settings. It's sometimes a little bit complicated, but if you just Google your Wi-Fi router name or provider name and then how to port forward, they should explain it to you. For some reason, it's different for every Wi-Fi provider since I can't really show you it, but because I'm using a HD network VPS, we don't need to worry with any Wi-Fi network settings. All we need to do is open a couple of ports in our Windows Defender firewall. So search for Windows Defender firewall with advanced security. Sometimes some Wi-Fi providers, if you're running it on your own PC, will let you just do these steps and it will work. It sort of depends on your Wi-Fi provider. 
but sometimes it won't and you will have to go into the network settings. But we will need to do these steps either way. For a VPS, this is the only thing you need to do and it will start working. So open your Windows Defender firewall with advanced security, go to inbound rules and click new rule. We're going to need to go to port and then click next. We're going to select TCP and it's going to ask for a specific port. To grab that port, it's really simple. As we can see right on our console here, it literally gives us the port, which is 30814. So we're going to need to open that port, 30814. I'll copy that so I can paste it in quicker next time and just click next. Allow the connection, next, allow all of these and call it anything you want. I'm going to create another rule in inbound rules. We're going to go to port again. We're going to click next. This time we're going to, we're going to select UDP. And we're going to paste in that same port and pretty much do the exact same steps. And now a couple of the final ones we need to do is go to outbound rules, go to new rule, go to port, click next, and then paste in that port, select TCP, hit next. And we need to select allow the connection because by outbound rules defaults, it blocks the connection. Click next, next again, and again, name it whatever you want. And the final rule for UDP, new rule, port, next, UDP, paste in that port, allow the connection, select all of those, and again, name it wherever you want, and boom, we have port forwarded. So we should be good to actually join our Beam MP server, as well as all of our friends joining our Beam MP server. Now, what you guys are going to do is, of course, load up Beam MP, go to the multiplayer section in the Beam NG menus, and really simply, if you guys are playing on your own PC, come on over to Direct Connect, and you don't need to enter anything else, it'll default fill the local host ports and just click connect. And then that'll connect you to the server running on your own PC. But if you need your friends to join and or if you're playing on a HTML VPS, obviously you could search for your server as long as it is public in your server settings, but direct connecting is always easier. If you are trying to get your friends to join, you need to give them your IPv4 address and then they can change the address in here to your IPv4 address. Or if you're using a HD network VPS, you simply paste in the VPS IP. Either way, you need to put in the IPv4 of the server that the BeamMP server is running on. And from here, all you need to do is click connect and it will start connecting you to your BeamMP server. And there you guys go. As you can see, we have loaded into our BeamMP server. Now we can go through, spawn some cars and play with our friends. If for some reason, when you try joining your server for the first time and it doesn't let you join, maybe you get stuck on connecting or something like that, then just restart your Beam MP server after doing those firewall changes and everything should work. Obviously, if it doesn't work after doing those firewall changes and you haven't done any network changes, if you're running on your own PC, then unfortunately that means you probably are going to have to do those network changes in your router settings. Hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe and comment down below what video you guys want to see next. Be sure to stay tuned, subscribe and turn on notification bell so you guys do stay tuned for the next videos to come because I will do some videos on how to actually mod your BeamMP server.